Let's talk about science! Humans, by their very nature, are curious. We want to know as much as we can about the things that we don't understand. In order for our species to evolve, some of us dedicated ourselves to this cause in the name of science! But how do they find this new information? Well, they do it with the scientific method. A set of steps or a tool that can be used to answer any question or solve any problem efficiently. So I'm going to use it to get better at Street Fighter. Hi, I'm Dr. Gecko's group. You can tell I'm a doctor because of the lab coat. I have dedicated at least a whopping two entire minutes of my life to researching the field of science. And with my DNA level physics, I believe I will be able to do the impossible. I'm going to get better at Street Fighter V. For those of you unaware, I've been streaming my ranked journey of Street Fighter V over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash every Tuesday at around 6pm British time. These streams make one thing very clear to everyone, including myself. I suck at Street Fighter V. I've been stuck in the bronze ranks for about a month now, and as a quality fighting game YouTuber, I demand a higher rank. I believe it would be beneficial for myself if I learned more about the games that I mention on my channel. And as the only game I've spent a lot of time in is Fighters, which has some... questionable transferal skills, I need to get good at some more games. So, I pick Street Fighter V. Why? Cloud. So how exactly am I going to do this? To make the video fulfill the title, I need to get better at Street Fighter V and trick you- I mean use the scientific method to do so. So, here's what I'm gonna do. To begin with, I'm going to play 20 sets of Street Fighter V without doing anything close to the scientific method. I'm gonna sit my ass in this chair, pick jury, and play. I record each set I play with the amount of wins and losses, as well as the opponent's rank. Once I hit 20, I'll add up the wins, divide it by 20, and we'll get our win rate as a percentage. This will be our base line. This is how good I am at Street Fighter V to begin with. We'll call this our starting result. This would normally be called the preliminary trial, but fuck you, I like simple language. This is what we will compare our end result to, to see if we got better or worse at the game. So, I'm going to go over to my chair now to play some Street Fighter. I've already actually played the games, this is just for continuity. And we are done! Here are the starting results. As you can see, I was doing really well, and then I ended up fighting some people in silver and got wrecked pretty hard. The end result was 11 wins to 9 losses, a clean 55% win rate. Now that we have our starting results, we can do some mad science! Oh, just regular science, you know, you can do either, it's cool, whatever, whatever you feel. Like. Before that, though, we should go over what the scientific method is and how to best apply it to fighting games. The scientific method can be broken down into four steps. Step one, come up with a question. Step two, do some research and create a hypothesis. Step three, experiment. And step four, examine the results and come to a conclusion. Four very simple steps that can be easily translated to anything that can be examined and tested. So, let's translate them currently. Number one, come up with a question. This is probably the easiest step. How do I make myself better at Street Fighter? What do I have to do in order to get that win rate to go up? Step two, do some research and create a hypothesis. In the realm of the FGC, knowledge is rarely kept secret. Because once somebody finds it out, they generally go to any social media platform they have and share it. And if that's not the case, the moment somebody gets bodied with it, people will go into training mode and figure out what exactly it is that just happened to them. With a game as big as Street Fighter V, there are a large amount of resources from people dedicated to the game. If you want to find anything about a character, you can find it. So, of course, the research was simple. Character guides and match footage. I watched the character guides created by Just a Kid, a high-level jury player from the East Coast of America. I also watched some high-level jury match footage to try and learn through osmosis how to optimally play the character, but that did just devolve into... No, that was shit! Finally, I noticed while playing my games that I had to win a lot of interactions in order to beat my enemy, and I know that's not an uncommon thing in Street Fighter, but I come from fighters. I want to be able to touch that character as little as possible before they die. So, what's the solution to this? Combo trials, obviously. I also decided that I should maybe learn how my V system works, because I didn't use it 
at all for my first set of matches. How the fuck did I get 55% win rate again? So, what's the hypothesis? By using the knowledge of others, be it guides or matches, along with the basic tutorials that the game gives me, I will be able to increase my win rate as jury. Alright, let's get to work. Obviously, first I watched the tutorials. The main thing I learned was that you can cancel out of heavy moves into medium charge, medium and heavy moves into heavy charge, as well as linking the charges together to make them safe. So, I needed to charge more. Jury's V Skill 2 is useful for Oki, her V Skill 1 is useful for dealing with projectiles and zoners, and her V Trigger 2 is trash. EXDP is invincible, so use it when you're in a tight spot. Jury's pretty stubby, but her standing medium kick is one of the best moves for Pokémon. She has a free frame jab, which can lead into a light kick frame trap. Light DP makes everything safe. From the videos, I learned how to V Reversal. Press forward with free kicks for Jury. I also learned about cancelling normals with V-Skill, which transitions nicely into the combo section. I learned a lot of different combos, it took me quite a while for some of them, reaching up to over 100 attempts for Jury's 10th original combo set. Step 3. Experiment. So, now we're here. Two weeks later. New knowledge in my brain, and my muscles having new memories in them, get it? I was ready to get shit done, so I sat my ass in this chair ready to play 20 more matches of Street Fighter V Ranked on a Sunday evening, because that was the first time that I played and I wanted the result to be as accurate as possible, and time may affect that as less people will be on- JUST KIDDING! I missed the cutoff date because I was up till 5 in the morning working on a uni project. How fun! So I have to do the next best thing and stream it on Twitch, live to my entire audience. And now because I want to pad this video out as much as possible, here are some of the highlights from what happened. So, 20 games were played. All of them live. Time to figure out what the win rate was. And the results were... Drum roll please! Alright, so we had 20 games, and we won... 2, 3, 5, 7... 9, 10. We had a perfect 50% win rate. What? No. 50%? No, no, come on, that can't be right. Can it? After the new set of trials, I got a perfect 50% win rate. 10 matches won, 10 matches lost. The results weren't conducted in an exact replica of the environment that I started in, however. They were on different days, I was streaming, and... I was wearing my lab coat. Despite that, the results were extremely similar with the only difference that I had gotten worse. I lost one extra game in comparison. Do I just suck? Is that the note I have to end this on? Is that it? It's 50%. I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be in the ranks. I need a nap. Alright, let's look at some of these matches and get some timestamps. Wait, is that... Is that me playing? Jesus, what am I doing? Why am I doing that? I'm barely pressuring them. What the fuck was that Oki option? Jesus. My guy, you're just whiffing. What are you doing? I should keep track of the amount of heavy kicks that I got hit by that. Wait, how do you beat that? It looks pretty slow. Hold on, let me, let me test someone. Okay, so what button did you press to do that? Okay, heavy kick. And it leaves her plus two. So blocking is a bad idea. I wonder if I could stuff it with a heavy button. Hmm. Oh, I can! Wait, can you do a combo from that? I could, crowd, I could stuff it with medium as well, okay. I got about 204 damage. I don't know any combos for Mika, but I imagine she could translate that into a mix up. But I'm already getting mixed, so. Why not, right? Yo! Holy fuck, that is so much damage! Maybe it's worth pressing there. I can get that much damage from it. 
Start off so long that I can just react with a crouching heavy kick. So if I see Mika charging that attack, I can just press a button and react to it. Let's talk about learning. Learning a new skill is hard. When we're learning a new skill, we want to find a quick way to be able to become an expert at that skill. Finding the fastest ways to get good at something is just human instinct. We want to be able to do as little as possible and become amazing at something, but we all know that that isn't the case. I purposely set out this video looking at my win rate knowing that I would probably fail my challenge. I am by far anything close to a good Street Fighter player. My rank reflects that perfectly, and so does my time spent in the game. But I do want to improve. I know this isn't a sentiment that only I have as well. When people want to improve, they can put themselves into bad situations because of a number on a screen. Wanting to win is fine, good even. It shows that you're invested in the hobby and you're striving to improve yourself. But focusing on a number and saying, this shows me how good I am, is a pretty toxic way to improve. We need to learn to accept marginal growth. Your rank may not go up, but maybe you're beating people at higher ranks more consistently. Maybe you're better at a matchup that you weren't as good at, at the first time you played it. Even if you only manage to do better by taking a round. We need to learn to be happy about the little things, and by we... I mean me. I'm really bad at this, it's a bad habit, and I'm trying to break it. Please be patient with me. I know that my stream has seen the saltier side of me a few times. So... How do you use a scientific method to get better at Street Fighter? Instead of focusing on how many times you won or lost, look at your matches and figure out how you lost. Learn about that character that annoys you and find ways to get around the things that annoy you. Learn your buttons in neutral and how to do combos off them. Find your bad habits and figure out how to break them. If you don't know exactly what you need to do, you can always take things to... The Lab.